that you'll probably be in the lineup tomorrow. <laughs> feels good. Feels good for sure. Um, every day to play in the major leagues is, is a great feeling. So, good feeling. You were obviously super emotional when that ball went over the fence. What, what was going through your mind at that point? Um, to be honest with you, it's I feel like it's a, almost a deja vu moment. I feel like I've lived that moment over and over in my head. So it was just like just let it go, let it all, let all the energy out. Uh, just a great feeling. I was sitting um, for that one pitch the whole bat. I finally got in, and I put a good swing on it and got the job done. Did you know as soon as you hit it? Uh, to be honest with you, I thought it could have been caught, but then I saw the exit Vila on the board, and I was like, oh, maybe it's going to go. But I know here center field plays a little deep, so I was like, iffy a little bit. Mark, you were always disappointed at the end of the spring training, but you went down to Syracuse and just kept putting up numbers there. I mean, was it hard to kind of keep, keep your head in the right spot after what happened towards the end of the spring? To be honest with you, I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm not really thinking about the, the past or the future. I'm living in the present right now, and I'm happy with this moment, celebrating with my team. And, and um, Q pitched a hell of a game. My teammates fought um, the whole game, and I'm happy we got the W. So you were waiting on that pitch. Was it a uh, fastball and location? Was you was the location you were looking yeah, for? Yeah, I was looking for a fastball in that location. The same the same exact pitch I got. Is that a mindset you've always had, or is that something that you've adopted over the last few weeks, uh, the, the live it day by day uh, mindset? Um, no, that's something i kind of been um, preaching to myself and, like, seeing from a lot of the guys in this clubhouse the way they, they go about their businesses. It's very like, what am I doing in this very moment? I'm gonna enjoy it, and, and that's how I'm living. On the flip side of that, Mark, how much are you been kind of envisioning a moment like this to get up here and contribute like that? Like I said, I feel like it was a deja vu mo moment, and I've seen this happen over and over in my head, and I'm glad it finally happened. How does this compare to last year? You came up and Patrick Boomer, maybe, yeah. uh, I think this one beats it for sure. This one beats it for sure because the other one was a go ahead, but this is a walk up, so this one. This is the best feeling I've ever had. Do you think that Gatorade bath was coming? Did you brace yourself for that? Or what? <laughs> no, you but I... did over your shoulder or anything? Or no, I, honestly, I had an idea, but I was just so, like, out of air and, like, losing my, my voice that I didn't realize. What are they doing here after the game? Uh, they gave me the belt, the, the be uh, hitter of the game. Did anyone say anything? What? Oh, they all congratulate me and went crazy for me. Great teammates. I'm, I'm happy that they're supporting me for sure. You have an expectation of what might happen. Um, obviously, Starling's not here now. Uh, obviously, you'd like to stay. Do you feel like you should stay? Or? Honestly, like like I go back to, I'm I'm enjoying this moment right now. We just won, and, and uh, I'm focused on that. Is this what kept you motivated when you was set down, knowing that you have a moment like this? Or that you think no, what kept me motivated is just knowing the type of player I am. I, I'm not worried about the situation I was in. I'm just, I was just more like, I know the type of player I can, I am, and I know what I can be in the major league level. I'm just waiting for an opportunity. Got my opportunity. I'm gonna make the best out of it. Are there any baseball, or I guess, who in your life, baseball or otherwise, have you leaned on during this time to kind of help you keep keep that mentality? Um. A lot of guys, honestly, uh, a bunch of guys in this clubhouse, guys in Syracuse were veteran guys were keeping me up. Um, I, I, there's, there's just too many. There's just too many to thank. Um, but uh, honestly, most importantly, got to thank God for um, helping me with this mindset and, and pushing me every day. And, and I always ask him to, to help me out and, and keep me safe. And I feel like everything's going well, so I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I feel uh, I feel some control, uh, you know. At, at that time, uh, get a lot of confidence in me, and, and you know, lock me. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, go up in the game. You know, I wanna uh, keep pitching and get the chance to get the W. So that's what I said to him. This is my game. Uh, I wanna say, he say, I trust you, and you know, uh, get this guy out. Did you think about asking him about the ninth inning? <laughs> Uh, no, no, because I know we're close. I don't know how many pitches, but yeah, but I, yeah, I think that's probably he said take it easy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say, but 
uh, was great. Uh, it was really good. It, it gave me the opportunity, you know, to to face Contreras at that time. So. And, and you know, and, and finish it that inning, so it was amazing. What were you doing, and where were you when Vientos walked it off? Oh, um, it was amazing. I was uh, you know waiting for for that run, and you know pushing for for Vientos was um, amazing. He he, he did the walk off for us, and you know, in a battle game. So it was a really good game. And, you know, we we always uh, keep competing, and, and you know. Uh, the last seconds of the end to get the, uh, the homer, so it was amazing. What does it say about Carlos that he's willing to have that conversation with you on the mound and willing to sort of get your input as opposed to just coming in and taking you out? Well, I know I know the, the conversation coming. Um, as soon as I get the ball, the, the ground ball to first, uh, I try to say him, like, stay, stay in the dog out, <laughs> and, and he start to, to walk to the, to the mound, and, and, and you know, and. Here we go. I'd say, hey, I don't want to go. I don't want to go out. So I want to keep keep fighting and, and give me give me that chance to, to get this to finish this inning. So he, he right away was um, on the same page with me and say, all right, um, I trust you and, and, and let's go. We need him. Did you think you were coming out when you showed him come out of the field? Uh, 50-50, probably. You never know. You know, um, I'm just waiting for he. He, um, he don't call the bullpen early uh, before he crosses the line. You know, sometimes we manage to do that. So um, yeah, I say don't don't do it. I don't want to, <laughs> you know, don't do it, and uh, it was good. So and then I'm really glad he gave me that chance. What was working so well for you all day? Well, um, you know, I make a, I make adjustment in my mechanic. Um, so a little back on, on my left side and and throw more strikes. You know, I think uh, today. Uh, the key was uh, attack the song early. If you see a couple innings was uh, quickly, you know, so uh, get more contacts in, in, in quick house. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's that's part of me. So I feel today more in control, uh, get all control the game and, you know, and, and, and keep attacking and get a chance to win. The first inning lasted a while. Did you change anything after the first frame? No, no, even in the first inning, uh, even the first inning, I think it was a long one. I, I get him uh, doing again. Uh, I feel truly good at that time. Uh, I don't worry at that walk because I feel so good, um, and, and I have, the, you know, I prefer the chance to face a, a Reda than than Goshman because I have good numbers uh, against me. And, and, and you know, I get two outs and I say, all right, let me um, let me finish with this uh, with this guy. But yeah, I feel so, I feel really good, and yeah, for some reason uh, today. Um, I feel like I, I can, can go to it. Was this the best your stuff was this year, or was it more about your command and attacking as well? Yeah, so far I think it's the best, uh, best, uh, best hour in, uh, for me, and, and you know, it give me that uh, that confidence back. You know, um, I'm, I always trust in in, in, in my stuff, and, and today was the best best feeling I, I get. And, you know, change speed, you know, um, uh, throw inside to the right handers. And, and the breaking balls, and the, so, like I said, I feel more more in control today. So that's uh, that's, that's really good. So, yeah. Those innings with the guy on second base, two yeah. innings in a row. Yes, yeah, obviously it's. Um, I feel like it's like uh, kind of do or die from the start. Um, even though it's an unearned run, it's still like you're doing everything you can to strain them. So I feel like it's kind of like. You're just trying everything you can to straighten them out there, so it's, it's definitely uh, a little bit higher pressure coming in with that guy on. You trying to be a 20 game winner? <laughs> yeah, that would be wild. <laughs> uh, you know, I, you know I, I wish I could take credit for all these wins, but I mean, it shows how how good we are fighting back. It's it's impressive, impressive to see. What was your reaction at the answer that you uh, I wish I could say what I said. In the <laughs> dugout, but, uh, wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be good. You know, not on live television. So, yeah, it was impre- it was awesome. I mean, Marcus, that was clutch. That was a huge hit. You know, it's something that we needed. We hit the ball hard all day, and uh, it was kind of like a breakthrough moment. So, just got to keep it rolling now. All things considered, the way he started eight innings pitching well. As to how important was this step? Man, that that was that was awesome to see him really like he he wanted the ball, you know. And then he came out there and I guess he and maybe he talked himself to to stay in the game, but he absolutely dominated. And it was, it was especially after a long first inning. Sometimes it can like snowball out of control, but you know he did 
everything that we could have asked for, he did. And he went out there and just and, and shot for us. It was cool to see. What's the adjustment like? I mean, the, the, after your first inning, mm -hmm. you guys have first and third, one out. You, I mean, you're this close to winning the game, yeah. and it's one pitch, and you're back out there, and you got to hold it again. I mean, what's what's the? How do you prepare for something like that? What's the adjustment? There? I, I think. Um, Everybody's a little bit different. For me, I like I don't really sit down in the dugout in between innings. I feel like uh, if I sit down, it kind of takes my adrenaline out of it. So I just try to stay up and, and kind of tell myself to, to throw strike one. Um, and it's been working, so I'm gonna keep trying to do that. Um, but obviously it was, I, I let my emotions get the best of me and when I struck out uh, the guy at the end of the at the end of the tenth, and uh, maybe I wasn't quite as sharp in the second inning, but you know we did everything we could to, to keep it close, and we went back out there and came out on top.